Here we go, another DIY project. We are making a coffee bar and it's gonna be an awesome coffee bar because we're doing it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're taking an actual table and gonna cut off a section of it and attach it to the wall. So here's what we're doing. We got this table here that we used for a kitchen table for a little while, but we're gonna end up cutting it on this line. But first, we're gonna paint this section white. So that's gonna be first off. Then once it's actually painted and dried, it's gonna be eventually attached here. There's gonna be a base so that it's up higher with the countertop. So yeah, we are making a coffee bar and it's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned. All right, so now we just sanded this section of the table that we just cut off from that piece. Yep. And we used it. We used it. We used it. Because it's Sunday. We used it. We used it sanding box. So me and the kids had fun sanding. So now we're going to let this dry because I just got done wiping it down. And then we're going to paint it. And then we're going to let that dry. And we're going to install it and make the coffee bar. And we're painting. Painting white. So yep, we are getting there. Fun times. As the count, well, coffee bar countertop is drying, we're out here cutting for the base. And we're gonna use this white shelf as the base. The black legs are gonna sit on from that table. And then we're cutting legs to go under this white base. So we're just getting that set up and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a few minutes. We've got the base partially built got the wood together we just need to attach it to the white piece and then we've already we already just put a second coat of white on this so this is going to dry this will be good to go here in a few minutes and then we will get back with you soon so i got the base built now and we used pallet wood and a white shelf that we had bought from a store so here's what we got is that's the base <sighs> it's all coming together Cat not included. yeah cats not included but there's obviously something on there he wants so go get it clark there is the base to the coffee bar okay we got the legs on we've got it sitting there against the wall it's not attached yet we got to get the brackets underneath to attach it to the wall but we're getting close we're getting close Coffee bar, almost done. Okay. We are basically done with the coffee bar. We've got it mounted against the wall with some uh, 90 degree angle brownish black brackets. Don't even know what color they are. I think they're black. Um, but here we go. This is what we got. I hope you enjoy it because we already are. This is our finished product before we start actually putting things on it. So here's what I did with the brackets. They're just under there holding things up. A couple of screws on the wall. Screw underneath on the holding the table. I didn't want to make a shelf all the way back for some reason. I don't know why. I kind of just like this. We used pallet wood. It's got a real cool designer look on it. And then uh, it basically a uh, laminated white shelf screwed onto the base of the pallet wood that I made a base out of. Cut a table in half, left the legs and the, the base of the table black, painted the top white, and this is our new coffee bar. Ta-da! Uh, let me know some feedback. What do you guys think? But um, I'm going to get everything on here. We're going to make it look nice, and then uh, we'll be with you in a minute. All right, so this is the rough look of what it's going to be for a while until we actually get nice things to put on it. But we got the Keurig, we got a percolator thing over there, we got a, um, oh man, it escaped me what type of coffee that is. Um, shoot, yep. French press? Not French press. Nope, I forget. But yeah, um, this is it right here. What an exciting time this was building it. Me and the wife. So we, um, our first project together in the house. So this is awesome. 
Well, here we go. Coffee bar 2022. Reynolds style. One last touch we did was I had to put a shelf up above the coffee bar. So here's what I did. Just a simple shelf. Right there. And it's kind of nice that it's somewhat hiding that, uh, that plate cover. So this is where we're at. This is the coffee bar, folks. I just really appreciate you guys uh, sticking through the video and watching this and seeing how it's come along and progressed. We are super excited and just uh, kind of beside ourselves right now that we did this good on something. So that's it. Coffee bar. Done. Actually, I'm talking back. Coffee and tea bar. Done. Have a great night, y'all. Love ya.